Hi, welcome to my review of the Nex X40 Hypertech Carbon Helmet. I bought this helmet about two years ago, so this is a bit of a long time review. The reason I bought this helmet is because it was angular. It looked a little bit of the uh, KTM R8 sort of uh, shape. There's nothing else in the market that looked quite like it. Uh, since th uh, since then, I've been uh, fairly impressed with it. The, it's, it's fairly lightweight. Obviously, there's some compromise because the face shear lifts off. Uh, however, I was uh, willing to ignore that due to the individual looks of the helmet. The one big criticism I have of the helmet is the inbuilt sunglasses. They do tend down to come down when you're running along at speeds. They're very difficult to operate, to lock into position, or even to get down when you're wearing motorcycle gloves. But other than this, the, the helmet's been pretty pretty steady. I've obviously added a, uh, a Bluetooth module on the left hand side, which you can see on the screen. And I have to say, I've never ever ridden this helmet without the front fascia on, purely because I I think that front fascias are really required if you ever have to use a helmet. I love it with my face in one, one place. But it does look good without the front fascia on it as well. So if you do want a scooter helmet or if you're a non front fascia sort of guy, this is, this is the helmet for you. Would I buy it again? There's a, there's a lot of offerings in, uh, in Nexus helmet range which I might go for over this helmet. I give it a good 6 out of 10 stars. It's a, it's a very good road helmet. I've used it for two years. I'll continue using it until, uh, until it falls apart, uh, which hopefully won't be for a while yet.